Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Lori Anderson. I'm contributor for FreedomOutpost.com and host for Resurrect the Republic RTR Truth Radio Broadcast. In Judicial Watch's weekly update posted on June 30th, 2017, yes, they are back in court and taking the lead once again. As you may know, Judicial Watch has taken the lead in trying to highlight the government's misconduct and misuse of a 308 parcel of land in, located in Los Angeles, California, originally intended to serve the needs of veterans. In fact, we just filed a second Freedom of Information Act lawsuit against the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs for information regarding non-veteran use of this prime real estate in West Los Angeles which was set aside nearly 130 years ago to serve as a home for disabled veterans. They filed the complaint in the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia, and Judicial Watch has the link where you can see that court documentation. They sued after the VA failed to respond to their April 14, 2017 FOIA request. The FOIA request was for the following information. Any and all lease, land sharing, enhanced use, or other land use agreements currently in effect for the West Los Angeles Greater Los Angeles Campus, or GLA Campus, including but not limited to agreements with the Regents of the University of California, the Brentwood School, the Veterans Park Conservancy, and the City of Los Angeles. Any and all records concerning or relating to the review of all lease, land sharing, enhanced use, or other land use agreements at the GLA campus as referenced in Appendix H of the GLA campus draft master plan issued January 28, 2016. Any and all notifications of the Secretary's intent to enter into or renew any lease, land sharing, enhanced use, or other land use agreement for the GLA campus as required by Section 2J1 of the West Los Angeles Leasing Act of 2016, 114 Public Law 226. The Committee on Veterans Affairs of the U.S. Senate, the Committee on Veterans Affairs of the U.S. House of Representatives, the Committee on Appropriations of the U.S. Senate, the Committee on Appropriations of the U.S. House of Representatives, the U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein, U.S. Senator Camelia Harris, and U.S. Representative Ted Lieu. The property at issue was deeded to the federal government in 1888 for the specific purpose of providing a home for disabled veterans. It includes a veteran's home, but over time came to include facilities for entirely unrelated uses, such as a stadium for UCLA's basketball team, an athletic complex for a nearby private prep school, a golf course, laundry facilities for a nearby Marriott Hotel, storage and maintenance facilities for 20th Century Fox Television's production sets, the Brentwood Theater, soccer practice and match fields for a private girls soccer club, a dog park, and a farmer's market. We filed our first FOIA lawsuit on this issue back in May. Veterans sued the VA to restore the site to its proper use, and some of the non-veteran related uses have been terminated. In October 2015, former VA Secretary Robert McDonald and attorneys representing the homeless veterans reached a settlement vowing that the campus would be dedicated to serving and housing veterans in need particularly those who are female, aging, or disabled. On May 29, 2017, the Los Angeles Times reported, It is understandable that this project will take years to complete. That's calculated into the master plan. It is a colossal undertaking to remake a 388-acre campus. The VA did not even receive the necessary congressional authority to enter into leases with developers and service providers until September. The problem is there is really no new development yet, and now the VA says the first phase of the 480 units will take four years to install, not two and a half. 
The VA didn't hire consultants to implement the master plan and conduct a lengthy environmental study until almost a year after the plan was adopted. The study is expected to take two years. Until it's done, construction can't begin on the 150 units planned for MacArthur Field. The misuse of this Los Angeles Veterans Facility is a symbol of how the VA mistreats the people they are meant to serve. Our new lawsuit aims to hold the VA accountable to the rule of law and to the veterans. Well, isn't that just grand? We have people, individuals who have fought and been disabled and are sitting there homeless on the streets and hungry as criminal illegal aliens get housing food stamps, and all of the such. While there is a property, apparently, in Los Angeles, California, that was meant to be for veterans in the first place, but apparently UCLA's basketball team and athletic complex facilities for laundry uh, for the Marriott Hotel and storage and golf courses and things for 20th Century Fox's television production sets must, must be so much more important than our homeless veterans on the street suffering through the weather and hunger and not even getting their proper medical care um, because the VA has also failed in that aspect. The worst part of this is these veterans, many of them are disabled and are unable to obtain housing. They're disabled because they have been sent into illegal wars. There has been no real war declared since World War II. Look it up. They are going under the guise of the AUMF which is unconstitutional and illegal. Only Congress can declare war. So not only are these individuals homeless and on the street while there is a facility that was meant to be for them and they are being denied that because apparently money making and laundry facilities for a hotel storage and maintenance facilities for 20th Century Fox, a stadium for UCLA's basketball team, and different things are so much more important than taking care of our fellow Americans who went into illegal wars, lost limbs, have dealt with massive post-traumatic stress disorder, all under the guise of fighting for freedom. Thank you, do just your watch for everything that you do. I will keep all of my listeners updated as you keep us updated and informed about what is going on within the United States of America, the corruption and how they leave our veterans and our military hanging, not taken care of. The individuals who are behind this, who, who are behind covering this up, and who are behind doing this in order to make a dime while allowing our veterans to be on the streets and cold in the winter, hot in the summer, you're a disgrace to humanity. As always, everyone, watch your backs, check your facts. I will have links in the description box below. Semper Fidelis and good night.